intercessors interpose themselves to help fix something that isn't fixed or to keep something fixed that is fixed. The big issue is God's wrath. Now let's just get this real clear and real straight because I have the feeling we live in such a kind of touchy-feely day that Christianity is being so psychologized and so therapeutized that we really do believe this book was written for our mental health. It wasn't. It was written to help us get right with a wrathful God. God is one great massive fire of holiness. He hates sin and cannot abide it. We are little ant-like cinders of sin. And if we got within 10 trillion miles of this God, we'd be consumed. The problem in the universe is not our fragile marriages. The problem in the universe is not my failing health. The problem in the universe is not my wayward children. The problem in the universe is not the conflicts at work. The problem that the Bible was written to deal with is I have no hope of drawing near to God without being consumed because I'm a sinner. And unless there is some kind of asbestos-like priest who can wrap me around with all he is and take me into the center of this fire, there's no hope for me at all. That's what the Bible is about. Now there are some spin-offs for our mental health and our marriages and our kids and our jobs, but those are just spin-offs, folks. And if everything went wrong and this got right, you would leap for joy forever and ever and ever. Because God is the main issue. Life is very short. Sin is very horrid. And salvation is so needed. So, the first implication of saying that my salvation depends upon eternal intercession is that there must be something about God and me that can't get along. And it's sin. God's holiness and my sin. And I have to have a priest. Until you get this straight in your head, Hebrews is a closed book. All this mumbo jumbo about Melchizedek. You remember back in chapter 5 when he said, I have much to tell you about Melchizedek and you are dull of hearing and you can't get it. You know what they couldn't get? Sin, holiness, and priesthood. That's, that's the universe. I'm a sinner. God is holy. Wrath burning against sin. And there's a priesthood to solve it. That's, that's what the Bible is about. Don't let the Bible become trivialized for you down into a little self-help book that makes your life just a little better this week. Stand like a rock on a rock that the Bible's got a message about the big issues of life. Namely, whether you're going to live forever inside the fire of the glory of God so wrapped in asbestos righteousness from Jesus that you can enjoy it forever. That's what I'm looking forward to. Right in the center of the throne that is aflame with glory. <laughs>